All right, welcome back to my homies. And uh, this is a little update on Project Arcturus. Uh, it's been a little while since I um, did that last of the three videos, the one where I showed the software side of things. And since then, there's been a lot of changes to this thing, a whole lot. And I've gotten some new things in for it. And I want to run you through those pretty quickly. So uh, first off, maybe I should bring up that so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, uh, check this out first. You'll notice it looks dramatically different. It actually has a lid like it should. And, uh, and this foil window and these spots of silicone here. The reason for that is and you can hear it going right now, those pops, that's uh, high energy gammas, cosmics, neutrons, God only knows what. Very high energy though, I've got it cranked down and I'll show you how that works. Now, the major change for this has been um, the casing for the tube inside here, see this? I used a large-ish size Radio Shack project box, housed the tube inside it, and now I don't have light leak problems, which were plaguing me like crazy. I still have the telltale traces of sealant here and there on uh, the jacks and the knobs and whatnot to uh, contain light leaks. And the reason was the tube was sitting inside there open to light. And uh, of course now this fixed it. What I did is I drilled the holes for it and then uh, put the tube inside with some uh, foam to press it up against that window. And I also changed the configuration of the crystal. Remember how it was tall, like standing up off the tube? Now it lays flat against the tube and the housing is totally gone. I removed it. Um, turned out not to be necessary, especially with it inside this cookie tin Faraday cage anyway. Um, and then, very important, I went around all the edges and where the cable comes out and laid down silicone. Um, where is it? This stuff. Permatex Ultra Black Gasket Maker. Yes, it is. Thank you, babe. My talking clock. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Gasket Maker uh, by Permatex, Ultra Black. This stuff is very black, excellent light sealer. It's been, uh, it's been right there with me, saving my butt. And anytime I get a pinhole in this uh, foil window, which I ultimately would have to replace as it gets damaged from, uh, you know, scraping and whatnot. Um, just dab a little bit of that on the pinhole, and voila, and you know, it works very well. See? Nothing. Oh, and the problems I had. Anyway, um, oh, since the last time I added amplifiers to it, I added a volume control. Check this out. See? It's also affecting the uh, mic because, of course, I've got the uh, mic riding on the same input there. i got to be careful where that's set to. I think that's probably good, huh? Okay. Anyway, probably got louder. Oops. Time left. I have six minutes left, more or less. Okay, so um, I got some new stuff in. And I want to show you really quickly what you are missing with the alphas with that americium sample. So let's turn that up to where it belongs. Right there. Check that out. Pour out the stuff. And I changed some of the internal filtering too, so it responds better to everything as a whole now. Hear that? much better difference. You can actually hear it coming from about two inches away if you listen close. Let's change that a little. Let's 
They say that's about 37,000 counts a minute. I believe it. Sounds like white noise, pretty much. Okay, that was then americium from smoke detector. This is, of course, the uranium sample. My original pride and joy. I crank up the energy, the cutoff point, so it only lets through higher energy. That's uranium at about 1,200 counts a minute, I think it is. And I got a little something in from eBay. This is a little vial full of chips of what you'll soon see. This is thorite. It's a natural ore of thorium and uranium. Mined for both. That stuff's about three and a half times more powerful than that uranium sample. This amount is. Three and a half times more counts per minute, I should say. And this is what I got that in. Now watch this. This rock in here, I'll show you. What the hell? See that in there? It's pretty heavy. That's the mother rock that this came from. This, these chips. Watch this. I could tell this thing was radioactive as all hell while it was still in the box. I mean, damn. Right through the box, it was pounding at like probably 40,000 counts a minute. I don't know. And powerful. Check this out. That is radiation, baby. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Right through the metal can. You want to see something even crazier, you should see it punch uh, like about a half inch of lead. Very high energy output. The uh, gamma's flying off of that. Strong. I mean, whoa, wicked strong. It'll punch through freaking anything. There's my laser battery and all. I don't care. There's nothing to it. Um, okay. I want to show you really quick the software setup before I run out of time. And then I turn you loose. Let's see. Make sure my focus and everything's good first. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. Alright, now this is the basic setup. Get now all that. Let me do the focus just a hair. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is CDV counter, chugging away. That's uh, radio sky pipe, and this here is Spectrogram 6. Now, they have a much newer version, but I don't use it. First off, let me show you the Marisium. Everybody's happy. Watch this. See the change over there on the uh, CDV counter. It's a little more dramatic when I'm not messing it up with the microphone. You can see it running with my voice there. Alright, and uranium. Not quite as dramatic, obviously. The thorium vial. And, of course, the thorium rock in the cookie can. That is... <laughs> the lighting out of it. <laughs> that is extremely radioactive. And yes, I'm afraid of it. I'm out of time, I'm sure, so I better let you go. And, uh, hope you enjoyed. And, as always, more to follow. See you later. Bye-bye.